Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have the Spin Master Monster Jam poster for 2021 fully revealed. Uh, and I'm going to share my honest opinions on um, the rest of the trucks that were revealed uh, for um, uh, this year. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So obviously we have seen the original uh, arena favorites, the Kraken, 30th Anniversary Gravedigger, Saigon Shaker, the two variations of Dragonoid, Rock Rust Station, Higher Education, and Bro Camino. And obviously the yellow El Toro Loco, which is uh, a new variation for Series 19. Um, sorry, there's uh, got something on my screen there. Uh, and then the two newly revealed trucks for the arena favorites are Big Kahuna and Wolf's Head Motor Oil. Uh, Big Kahuna getting a brand new casting this year. Uh, it looks amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on it. And then we have... Wolf's Head Motor Oil uh, with a technical variation. Uh, it's going to have solid red rims this year. It's going to have a new color for its teeth, and I think it's going to have a glossy clear coat. Uh, so I think we're going to be seeing a more accurate representation of Wolf's Head in terms of uh, the clear coat. Uh, so, yeah. Um, then again, it's another variation, but I mean, Wolf's Head's one of my favorite trucks, so it'll, it'll be cool to see it come back again. And then we have the Legacy trucks. Uh, the ones that have already been revealed were Son of a Digger, Soldier Fortune, Rottweiler, and Max D. Max D received a... The final product of Max D did receive a change for the rims. It was originally supposed to have bead locks, orange bead locks with gray rims, but instead it gets solid orange rims but that's okay uh uh northern nightmare um i don't know what the final product is going to be but for the render it's showing red beadlocks with gray rims but i mean if it ends up changing i mean it's okay uh uh whiplash uh i'm not sure what they're going to be doing for whiplash like will it be uh beadlocks or it's gonna or is it gonna look like this uh I mean, we'll just have to see. But the one legacy truck I'm super excited about is this Chrome Grave Digger. This is the uh, retirement body that Dennis Sanderson drove back in 2016. And then Ryan Anderson drove this Grave Digger for the uh, 35th anniversary Encore. This is a beautiful Grave Digger. I can't wait to get my hands on it. So, yeah. Um... And then we have the Chase Piece series, the Showtime trucks. We have already seen Grave Digger, Black El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and Son of a Digger. The two newly revealed Showtime trucks are Earthshaker and Dragon. Earthshaker um, looks extra show accurate with the painted headers and shocks. But Dragon, I think, is probably going to be the Showtime truck of the year because, I mean, it, this is 100% accurate to um, John Zimmer's Dragon and it even has the accurate uh beadlock slash rim setup on um some specific trucks owned by feld so i could see a lot of people doing customs with scooby-doo or uh maybe even some uh uh retro trucks that had uh gray rims with black beadlocks this thing is going to look incredible and then we have the elementals trucks we've seen zombie Earthshaker, Gravedigger, and Dragonoid. Um, I was a little skeptical about the Elementals Pirate's Curse uh, when I heard we were getting one, but now that I'm seeing it, it looks very cool. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on it. This thing is going to look awesome. And then we have the Sheer Madness series, which included a Gravedigger with a plastic green body, Soldier Fortune, uh, don't worry about the render on the El Toro Loco. Um, the render is not accurate. We will be seeing a transparent El Toro Loco body, so don't worry. Uh, same goes for Son of a Digger, but probably my favorite uh, Sheer Madness truck this year is going to be that Megalodon. Um, or once uh, we see more uh, information about that El Toro Loco, maybe I'm going to like that one. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that... 
Sheer Madness Megalodon from how it looks right now. It looks very cool. I can't wait to see it. Um, and then we have the Max Contrast series. We've already seen the first three, but now we have the Grave Digger revealed. It looks sweet. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I think Grave Digger is probably going to be my favorite Max Contrast truck. And then nothing new for the Rough Crowd. Uh, just still need to get Scooby Doo and. Uh, Scooby-Doo is out, uh, but Monster Mo Husky is not out yet, so yeah. Uh, Boneyard Trucks, uh, we've seen the Mohawk Warrior and the Burnt Victim Zombie, but here is the gorgeous Biker Zombie. This thing is insanely detailed. They went above and beyond with this one. Uh, this is, this is hyper accurate to what it would have looked like in real life had the had the Encore not been covered by that red light. But yes, this thing is insane. It's got legs coming out of the back. It's got the intestines sticking out. It's got an eye hanging out of his socket. It's got the beard, the American bandana, uh, jeans covering uh, his legs, and then the half-cut arm. And I think on the right side of the hood, there's supposed to be an arm like molded into the body. But yeah, I have to get a closer look at this one once it comes out. But from what I from what we're seeing right now, this thing is this thing is amazing. This thing is crazy looking. I might even like this better than the burnt victim zombie. Who knows? But yes, this is definitely this is definitely going to be in my top ten for sure. I love it. Um, and then we have the retro rebels. Uh, we've seen bulldozer already. Uh, Grandma Gravedigger is going to be coming out on a leafer chassis. Uh, which is very odd to me, um, and uh, uh, nothing changed on the rims. Uh, from what I've heard, it's going to have um, clear graphics, and I think they're going to add um, uh, the We Ain't Bad, but the Bad Don't Mess With Us slogan on the back of it, and uh, I think they're modifying this chassis as well so the wheelie bar can snap onto it. So, yeah, I'm very, I'm very curious on how this is going to look in person, but, yeah, um, but probably besides Bulldozer, my favorite Retro Rebel this year, definitely this red El Toro Loco with the white horns. I, at first I was skeptical of why they would put it on the front engine chassis, but then I understood why they did it, because when it first debuted, it was on a front engine chassis, but, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, Honestly, what I'm probably going to do is maybe uh, body swap it onto a, CR onto a CRD chassis. Uh, and Because and if you guys remember the El Toro Loco 5-pack, which Ryan reviewed yesterday, uh, instead of the 2001 El Toro Loco, we got an orange El Toro Loco, which I call the 2009 El Toro Loco because in 2009 is when they started running the orange body. Uh, so I may just... Uh, chassis i may just chassis swap both the red and the orange el toro loco i may put the orange el toro loco on um the front engine chassis and i may put the red el toro loco on the rear engine chassis so yeah and then the reckless trucks nothing new for them uh heroes and villains it should technically it should more be heroes instead of heroes and villains because it's only batman and superman but two technical variations for them uh, I was, I was kind of anticipating new paint schemes for both of them, but I mean, they did change them up quite a bit, so it's not that bad. Um, I think they're, I think they look good either way, so I'll definitely pick them up now that I've seen them. Uh, the Spectra Gravedigger, uh, uh, only Spectra truck. Uh, we already know Sparkle Smash is the only crazy creatures this year. And then Thunderbus is making a singles release debut. Uh, with um, some, uh, with with a glossy clear coat on like the dirty clean one, which had a matte clear coat, and then this one's gonna have orange bead locks with gray rims. So, yeah, overall this year, um, this year was a very solid year for Spin Master and Monster Jam. Um, even though uh, there, even though a lot of fans were expecting more. Uh, out of Spin Master this year. I mean, I can understand why they cut down the poster to only have like six mixes worth of trucks, but for what it is, I think it's going to be very cool. And 
I look forward to more uh, exciting releases uh, in 2022 and so on and so forth. But yeah, this is, but yeah, uh, this was not a bad year at all. Uh, so many great trucks. Uh, some variations were a little iffy for me, uh, but in the end, uh, I would say uh, I would give Spin Master probably an eight and a half out of ten this year for everything they've come out with. So yeah, thank you guys for watching uh, this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.